so picking up a bunch of new watches today. Have an olive day date. Brand new. How cool would that be if these were the uh, meteorites? Brand new chocolate. So you added up the total value of all these, roughly? Yeah, that's a good looking watch. Look at that. Ladies 31 millimeter, yellow gold olive dial with uh, round diamond markers. AP5500 black. We have the 15300, which is a 39 millimeter rose gold. Exhibition case back, comes on a factory rubber strap. 26331 ST blue dial. Stainless steel. The older one, closed case. Back. This beauty. <clears throat> Platinum Daytona with the big app markers. 116681. Two tone Yacht Master 4. Or Yacht Master 2, 44 millimeter. I've got my Black Panther. 15400 OR. Black dial. Date just 126334 blue diamond dial, brand new. We've got the now discontinued Air King 116900. And last but not least, white gold meteorite GMT. All right, so picking up a lot of new consignment pieces. And we are going to go back to LA. call my guy and see if he wants to take it. I don't want to stock it at that. Don't you need it? Yeah, I was going to stock it whether, like I was okay, I was comfortable buying it and if he backed out, I was just going to stock it, but I don't want to stock it like, at your price before, because that, that was a good price. So know, whether he, whether my guy took it or not, I didn't mind stocking it because I know I could yeah. sell it, but I don't want to stock it at 62. Let me call him really quick and I'll call you right back. Please. All right, give me, give me just a minute. And it's a 2022? Yeah, 2022, dated February. Full set? With a box. With a box, okay. All right, let me call you right back. Hey, brother, how you doing? How are you doing, man? Good. Hey, can you go get 30 minutes? I'm talking to my broker. I call you back in two minutes. Okay, call me back. Thank you, buddy. Thank Bye. you, bud. Bye. Bye. Hey, what up, buddy? Hey, we are downstairs. We're gonna move our cars across the street to park in the uh, that parking lot, but we're here. So you want us to come on up? Yeah, come on down if you would. Um, uh, another question: Can you be on camera? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Construction right now, so it's gonna look a little like beat up, but it's, it's coming together right now. Construction's construction. Right. How long have y'all, you've been doing this now, five years? Yeah, five years, yeah. Okay. And then sales, I've been in the car industry my whole life. Really? Yeah, so. What's your watch not look like? Actually pretty decent. decent. Reference number's not the best, but like knowing what stuff is. Gotcha. Pretty solid. Watching, actually, a lot of YouTube is what's mainly helped me a lot. I like watching you guys, DRM, all that. Okay. okay. You're outfitting a new office or redoing yeah, it? Outfitting. We added all this wall. This is gonna be like a showroom area. We're gonna have like couches and TVs and stuff. So that's my uh, polish here, this polish room. Okay. Yeah, I need a good, good polish guy. Uh, polish room right here. Is he here? Yeah, I'm gonna get him right now. Oh, okay. That's what we need, like a, an off-site operation. Spot this in, like watches for a repair, polish, 
What's up, man? Anthony, how are you? Anthony, nice, nice. to meet you. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. What's up, boss? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, you know, I'm here. been in the game now for 11 years. So I pretty much deal with everybody here in downtown, you know? Matthew's one of the guys that you, yeah, yeah. you know, that you deal with. So he's a good friend of mine. Him, his brother, his family. I deal with them. Um, a lot of East Coast guys. Okay. You know, a lot of guys in the East Coast. I have one guy in Texas. He's from the uh, the Rolex facility there. Okay. The repair center there. So okay. I, got, I got, you know, connection with the Rolex guys there. You can handle services and stuff. Yeah. Well, also. So Rolex, uh, bunch of pretty much everything. Rolexes, yeah. you know, AP, Patex, Turbions, you know. Okay. Parts, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm able to get. I source a lot from, from uh, Geneva or my guys in Moscow. But... It's, you know, with the whole thing going on now, it's really hard. I dropped a couple pieces off. I'm about to go pick up and see how they did, a couple okay. APs. My guy in Miami is the best I've found, with Larry there? Callen. Okay, so I know, I, know, uh, I know Joe Akar out there. He's pretty big out there. He's got a nice big uh, facility out there. Yeah, I want to so really the, I wanna go straight to the source. Like, I want to yeah. hand you my stuff. I, you're the one working on it, and then right. you give it back to me. Right, you so. know, and that's the same thing. Like, I'm not, I'm not on Hill Street. Mm -hmm. You know, I have my, my parking downstairs. My guys come straight up. I deal, you know? With, with you know people directly a lot of companies like I said so they ship their stuff here everything just gets done in house you know nothing's kicked out as far as like laser repair you know special you do, you do laser as yeah, well okay we so cases that have dings or you know they've been dropped we do all the stuff here you know edges is a big thing right case corrections you know the edges you know are, are on point yeah. it's a big thing for me so Matt you know when he sends me stuff he tells me you know how does it look does it need a polish is it a small touch up customer just wants you know light buff so Everything you know that we do is pretty much you know to standard. I've seen all this stuff, so if it's good enough for him, it works yeah, for me. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, yeah always we're man. definitely gonna yeah. definitely gonna send you a bunch of work. So. Yeah. Whoever polished this before. Mm -hmm. That's why we couldn't go deep enough. Okay. It's pretty clean. Wow. Holy cow. It's like a brand new watch. really good good job bro. good job and this is the uh, day date Ooh, wow. Sandy's gonna love that did you watch Sandy Bangles that flip, that flip. Just come. How much are those? Thirty-two hundred. How much? Three thousand two hundred. Okay. Like that. It's the same price. I can get them for you, Rose. What makes you said one's more expensive? What makes that one more expensive? Maybe heavier. Bigger, bigger, bigger diamonds. diamonds. Yeah. So I like the better. I like the one. I like yeah, the this better. is nice. How much is this one? That one is fifty-five hundred. Fifty-five. Okay. Oh, oh, that's the one. That's the one I like better. It goes all the way around. So I can order these for you. Okay, and then they come in rose, white, rose, or white and yellow. Thank you. Hey, what's up, bro? All right, so I just pulled up to the Ritz. Okay. Um, are they? We're just making an exchange, right? Yeah, they're gonna give you the box. Okay. And you're just gonna give them the platinum, right? Yes. Can you tell them to come out to valet, or do I need to go in? Yeah, c tell them I'm out here in the in the gray G wagon. All right, so they can't be on camera. I'm gonna do this deal real quick where I swap a couple of watches and some boxes and stuff. Be right back. Do you have that platinum? That's the only thing I'm doing, right? I'm giving them the platinum, and then I'm getting the Starbucks Sky papers. Dweller. papers. Sky Dweller, but okay. Go down to the back. Quick and easy. Kurt, how are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing good, man. Yourself? Oh, you just said good. 
bunch of heavy. I just got back to Dallas uh, from Florida. NYC. We're going to meet some friends up here at Choctaw, so we just got to Choctaw. But I didn't realize why you wanted the dog, and then I saw a video today, and I'm like, oh, shit, I guess something happened. So for you, Yeah. You saw the video of the home invasion? Yeah, I did. So, yeah. So I'm getting a, I'm definitely getting a dog. And I remember you got yours. Yours Is yours the one that's similar to, I don't know the name of it. It's a Belgian Melanie. Melanois, okay, that's right. Yeah. Now somebody was somebody was telling me there's two versions of those that they're like there's some that are really really like they're just in all they're always in attack mode and they're not like practical for living in a home because it's too mellow. Yes, that's it. Yeah, you should probably do the German Shepherd instead of the Belgian Melanois. Okay. Because the, the Belgian Melanois is just super high maintenance. Like, like right. they just like. And they're both very good protection dogs, personally. I like the Melanois. I don't like the high maintenance, but I do prefer the German Shepherd because they're bigger. Um, and I think when there's two two or three people, your, your uh, German Shepherd's going to do better. And the guy, the guy's contact info you sent me, he, he breeds those? Or like trains them, I mean? So what he does is he actually brings them in from Europe, and he actually trains police dogs, military dogs. He's one of the top trainers in the country. So he'll he'll source a dog, ship it in, train it, and every so often he'll have a, tr a trained dog ready to go. So it depends when you catch him. The problem is if you order a dog, then they're still going to take him through, you know, eight months training. Um, but what you got to do is call him and say, hey, do you have any? Okay, you said it's eight months of training? Uh, it depends on the dog, so, and, and it also depends on the training level. I think they have three training levels. Okay. So we were gonna get, we were gonna get the state trained, which is basically trained under gunfire, trained to like jump through a car window and attack, trained to, uh, I mean, these dogs are trained to attack on command or protect you. Like these dogs are, extremely well trained these are not just like your guy down the street that knows how to train dogs these right, dogs right. That are trained these dogs are trained under high pressure situations they're trained under attention i mean you, you're going to pay a premium because you're getting uh i mean you're getting a dog that's highly trained right 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 and they're like a hundred to 150 grand right no uh you can get you can get you can get like an estate trained dog from him for like uh, anywhere from s probably fifty to a hundred, depending on the dog, the breed line, and uh, age, how long he's been trained, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, you're saying estate yeah. trained? He's called an estate trained dog. Yeah. So they come in and train him in your home and around. They will. They'll come and spend. Uh, they'll spend a couple of days with you when they deliver the dog. Okay. And they'll actually train the dog uh, with you to the property, meaning uh, the dog will understand where to go, what to do, protection, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Nice. All right. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna reach out to him because I cannot have another incident like like that. Yeah. So. I mean, this dog. I mean, the dog's so well trained. He can fly with you. He can travel with you. He'll become your next best companion. So I don't know if you know this, I haven't told you, but I got caught up in where well, I was trying to mint a specific NFT, and it kept on asking me to log in. And I was always told never to log in when you're trying to do something like that. And then I, I went out, and I clicked the link again, and I went out, and I clicked the link again, and I did it like two or three times, and then the mint was going to end. I thought I was going to miss out on the NFT. So I finally entered my credentials to log in through my MetaMask because I figured it, it, it maybe it had logged out in the system. And within minutes, all my NFTs were gone, probably around two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Holy shit! And there's nothing I can do about it. So somebody, what? Somebody hacked your phone or something? No, I was trying to mint through a specific NFT project. And I kept on time and out, asking me to log in. And I, I, I went in and out, making sure that I clicked on an official link through a Discord. And I, I know I clicked on an official link, 
and it kept on asking me to log in, so I finally logged in, and I shouldn't have, because they got my login details and stole everything out of my OpenC wallet. Wow. Shit. Did you ever uh, buy... I, did you buy I, an ape? I, I had two apes, two dogs, uh, and a bunch of other NFTs. Not only did I lose that, but I actually, I don't know if you saw the article, BAYC recently airdropped money, uh, coin, to all their holders. Uh, they would have dropped me a hundred grand um, if I still had them. Jesus, wow. So, call that 350. But, you know, hey, what are you gonna do? Price, you know, price, progress, pay the change. Say fucking low. Yep. <clears throat> That's how you learn. The problem with all this NFT shit is it can't be traced, and you can't put it on insurance, and you can, you, you can never see it again. There's no, like, right. there's no ways to get it back. It's gone. Sorry, man. But it, hey, but it is what it is. What are you going to do? Learn a lesson and move on. 350 grand. Is, you know what? You know it's a lot of money, but I'll, I'll even say this to you. It's could be a lot more. It could be a lot more. Yeah. Hey, listen. My Grant Cardone says... Says some of you fuckers are too worried about the price of the steak. You should worry about where you're getting your next sale. Right. I can't dwell on it too long. I gotta focus on like, hey, what good shit can I focus on? Because I'll get that money back in yeah. different ways. Yeah. Make it a goal. Go earn that money back this week. I bet you can. I bet you can bring in an extra 350 grand just because you're pissed off about that. Oh yeah. Oh good. So. Anyway, I'm glad you guys are safe. I figured I'd just touch base quick. Um, and uh, if I can do anything, let me know. Uh, I appreciate it, man. I'm going to call that guy tomorrow. Sounds good. Appreciate it, dude. Take care.